There's a relatively new place for BIPOC creatives to come together in South Minneapolis. This is the passion project of a local duo who also happen to be husband and wife. Art brews at the corner of 46th and 41st I can do high hopes. in South Minneapolis. High hopes is cool. It totally feels like it's a part of our story. All the work that we've done musically. I come Sarah Fancy Linear Duncan and Emmanuel Envy Duncan are joined in life I come as far, come as far, please and in music, I got high collectively known as Illism. The duo first found each other at work years ago. He introduced himself to the group and they go around to the icebreaker, tell us your <laughs> name, it's something you do. And he stood up and was like, I am who I am and I rap and I have a show coming out on Friday. <laughs> Fancy knew then. Right. Music was going to bind them together. We'd go on lunch breaks. Lunch breaks together. I play would bring music. mixed CDs and I would play them in, <laughs> Back in the when car. CDs were a thing. Is the sky the limit? And that too is where Fancy professed her love for him. I did things my way. Before he left to Atlanta. Before I left, she gave me a note and a CD, a mixed CD. Ooh, mix CD. <laughs> yeah. But this mix CD was different. This uh -huh. was this this mix CD to me it, it kind of like told me her feelings. So all of the songs, you know, just like it meant something like okay, she likes me. Oh, yeah. It gave me something to just think about while I'm driving on the way down. Home is where the heart is. I'm high up. Where the art is. I got. So ever since Envy came right back, chasing these goals is green light gold. They've been creating music in this studio they call their legacy. You could come rehearse and then you could go upstairs and you could record a song, or you could have a photo shoot or a video shoot. Or a podcast. If you're an artist, you can have an exhibition upstairs in our gallery. So it's kind of like a one-stop shop. For achieve, all creatives. Yeah, you can achieve every everything here. And and that can be really, really hard as an artist. We find ourselves a lot of the time having to go so many different places. The creative space for both audio and visuals, while they own it, belongs to the community, specifically prioritizing lifting up BIPOC artists. It's a difference in culture, a difference in language sometimes even, and so we're really glad that we can prioritize people of color and give them a space where they feel really comfortable and really safe to be expressive. Got hopes this high. This is where the artist becomes the investor. Breakthrough, glass ceilings. Sometimes you have to just be that person that's like, yo, no one else is doing this. We're gonna be the people that mm -hmm. at least opens the door. Build the community. You know, if you build it, they'll come. You think all that time I invested, that I wasn't gonna perfect it. The Duncans have always invested in music and now they're making yet another investment. I didn't put in all this work. This time in community. Look at how much we've learned. Look at how much we've the Skills done. That we've acquired. The skills we've acquired, mm -hmm. our experiences. Some of the things that we've gone through have been like, oh man, I wouldn't want anyone to have to deal with this. And so we're like, okay, well, maybe nobody should. Right now, Fancy and MV are busy planning their neighborhood Juneteenth celebration that they're calling Soul of the South Side. So you can find them there. And it will be happening at the Hook and Ladder in Minneapolis on June 19th.